guys in the world. And now I'm gonna beat the best guys in the world. And that's just how I see it. I posted a video on my Instagram and I was running real fast. Like I did about 20, 20, 25 yards in only like three, four seconds. And they were just like, wow. And they were like, we think you could set a record. And I was like, sure, if you want, to, want me to try it. Guinness World Records is there, everybody's there. Former Olympians, former world record holders are all there supporting me, hyping me up, um, getting me going. And then I just took off, man. And the crazy thing was my first one was actually faster than my second one. I was moving so fast that I slid into it and ducked under the sensor. So I had to go do it again. <laughs> I was expecting, I was like, y'all don't understand, like I'm gonna be under five seconds, maybe even under four, and I called it. The first thing I said, the second I was done, I looked at all of I said, I told you. What I said, I said, I told you exactly what I was about to do, and I just did it. To be a Guinness World Record title holder, I'm number one. You know, there's nobody faster than me right now. I'm the fastest man on their hands in the world, but at the same time, it also means that my family's winning, my town's winning, and my support group's winning because without them, I wouldn't be here doing this for you guys. So I was born with caudal regression syndrome. It's a very rare disease. I always work with what I got because I don't really have any other cards that are dealt to me. A lot of people say foster mother. I'm not a big fan of that because she is my mother. The foster care system reached out to my mom, said that we exhausted all our options and that uh, could you take in this take in this boy and then man about seven months later question the conversation came up about me being adopted and a week after that i was just like yeah this is it this is what i want and five years later and it's the best thing that's ever happened to me where i was just like you know what i'm not going to be weak anymore and then i just put it in work as much as i could every day i was going to two or three wrestling practices a day for seven days a week Man, by the time my senior year of high school came around, I became one of the best guys in the state. And then soon after that, I became one of the best guys in the country. I'm really willing to put it all on the line to achieve my top goal of being the best wrestler, being the best track athlete. It's usually not the first choice for most people, given it's the world's most dangerous and oldest sport. And I just thought it looked fun. Everybody just accepted me in as one of them. They didn't look at me as I was different. They went hard against me just like I wanted them to. And the wrestling world really is like a close family worldwide and that's what I loved about it. I pushed myself to my absolute limit because by the time I am an Olympian and I'm a world champion wrestler, I'm gonna be shattering glass ceiling repeatedly. My future, I see myself being a multiple time Olympic champion. And I just see myself being that all around champ. I wanna win more medals than Michael Phelps, dude. I want, I want to be that guy. I'm going to be that guy because why not? I know people that have disabilities, that have disabilities the same as mine, that have disabilities that are more severe than mine, and I see them becoming high-level athletes every day. It's all about how much heart you got and how much work you're willing to put in. I'll tell that to any kid with disabilities. I'll tell that to a kid that doesn't have a disability. My message stays the same.